this is about Facebook marketing for real estate investing and wholesaling this book right here is how I do it it's called real estate money secrets I give it away for free you can actually download this for free at smartrealestatewholesaling.com and you can also download this one at smartrealestatewholesaling.com as well too right this is my original book you need to read both of them 10 to 15 times hey so step five here uh, we it's time to set up the campaign so we've done some groundwork we did uh, research right market research basically is the process of identify the ideal person the ideal avatar the person that will be interested in what you have to offer you need to know who that is uh, who would be interested in we buy ugly houses we buy houses who is that person um, that person is a person who well, a motivated seller, right? Uh, but we also need cash buyers, okay? Who's that person? The person that's already interested, it's somebody that's already following uh, people that teaches real estate investing, people that follow platforms like Fortune Builders, people that follow uh, people like uh, Max Maxwell, people that follow people that are teaching investing like Ron LeGrand, right? People that teach investing right these people have a followership on Facebook and Facebook allow you to target them with an ad and you can build a list of those people in anywhere around the world as long as they're connected to Facebook so we talked about market research we talked about a few other things like the ad creatives the funnels what do you want them to see we talked about data how do you find the data right so now down to step five which is basically we need to set up the campaign a lot of people make the mistake of going straight to Facebook and try to set up a campaign and they, they miss out the first you see why they fail <laughs> this is why they fail because they miss out the first four steps of the process well you're better because you understand what it takes and you know the majority of the work happens before you actually set up the campaign so with that being said the campaign what is the objective you know when it comes to campaign we think of campaign as hey you know set up a campaign roll out a radio ad roll out a TV ad right or a newspaper ad right you roll it out but here in digital marketing campaign level is where we identify the objective of of why we advertising well we're promoting something we're promoting what are we promoting is the offer right who are we promoting this to is the target market which is the groundwork that we've done identifying the market right and, and the process obviously is going to be Facebook marketing Facebook and Instagram marketing right so campaign objective is basically comes down to a little bit deeper than that what do we want to see in the form of metrics okay we're gonna talk about metrics in the second here right but what exactly are we trying to achieve do we want people to click on our ads or we want them to call a phone number or we want them to view a video right those are all objectives right when it comes to Facebook marketing okay reach traffic sometimes we call them how many people clicked on an ad conversions how many people actually enter their email address into a form that the same thing when it comes to Facebook leads right so there's all those different forms of objective when you're setting up your campaign the first thing you're gonna set up is what is the objective of the campaign you're actually gonna be telling Facebook I want reach that means I want as many people as possible to see it or you may say hey I want uh, I want clicks when it comes to clicks they show more impression or the counting in the form of clicks how many people click on it we're gonna cover that more and more details as we go through here right but the key thing I want you to note that is actually at the campaign level there are three levels involved in campaign execution the campaign level is the very top level of it right depends on how you want to look at it but for the purpose of this lesson let's look at it in the form of at the top level is campaign where you actually determine the campaign sometimes you also determine the budget the daily budget of your campaign like how much is this campaign going to be spending you can spend as low as five dollars per campaign Facebook is not gonna allow lower than that for obvious reasons you don't want that either you need some kind of momentum you need to show some kind of numbers right but for five dollars you will see numbers and you'll be able to tell wow on this by the second day you will be able to tell if this is a process you want to continue or not all right uh, when you're driving for dollars 
there's no such point <laughs> where you'll be able to tell if this is a process you want to continue or not at what point is that after you drive for three days and and you're like wait what this sun is too much it's too cold out here right <laughs> so but with facebook you spend five dollars you see a lot of people seeing your ads at that point you're like okay the next objective i need people to actually click on this ad or call a phone number or opt into a form meaning they become a conversion they actually convert as a lead right you're able to see all of that in a discrete manner where you can optimize it but anyway i digress campaign is where you set the objective and potentially set the price uh or not price the budget of your campaign on a daily basis hey i want five i want to spend five dollars per day hey i want to spend ten dollars per day five dollars per day means 150 dollars in a given month in a whole month that's not in the data you will collect in that one month the intelligence that comes with that is something you're not gonna get anywhere else so you already by default start making money by having such amount of knowledge by even knowing that hey wow my ads are showing to people right even when you put up bandy signs which I made boots of loads of, loads of money from right bandy signs the physical one on the street right even when you put that I mean you can see that the, the cars driving by but when you see impressions and you see people seeing impressions multiple times you start seeing frequency which is another form of metric that means how many times people are seeing your ads that you can use to optimize your ad it starts to really really form into this big old thing it feels real to you right the second level is called the ad set on facebook ad set is basically where you determine who do you want to see this ad okay the first level is what is this ad going to do what's the objective why are we doing this right do we want reach we want people to click on it we want people to call a phone number or all the all this other stuff right but on the second level ad set level is where you say who is the person that need to see this so this is basically where you specify hey i've already uploaded a list show it to those people or hey facebook give me everyone in this location that are above 50 years of age or give me all the females in this area that's above 50 years of age as long as it's not identified as a special category because if it's about housing or credit or one other thing i can't really remember right now it doesn't really matter right if they identify your ad as that then you won't be able to break it down into those discriminatory demographic kind of thing but there's a lot you can do with it and there are ways to get around that but the key thing here is that if you upload custom audience the way i showed you earlier where that means you get data from rei pro or you get data from uh yeah my my empire pro.com slash my rei pro or you get data from any other source and you upload it into facebook if it's your data facebook does not it doesn't matter you don't have to tell facebook what to target because you uploaded the list right but at the ad set level is where you say this is what i want okay this is this is the people i want to see this ad okay the woo the w h o this is the person i want to see this ad or let's say you're building a cash buyer list and say hey i want everybody following real estate investing which is an interest on facebook everybody following real estate investing above the age of 40 to see this ad i want to give them a free book and when they opt in for the free book you say hey check out this stuff for 37 dollars and when that 37 dollars comes in you make it you reinvest it back into you build your list you build it that's why we call it funded proposal you build your list automatically uh for free basically okay just because you understand this process right so at the ad set level is where you set the who you want to see your ad at the ad level is where you set the creative remember i told you about the creative the creative in three seconds the first impression you need to tell them uh the solution that you're offering the answers to their burning questions or some kind of pleasure that replaces some uh some uh, perceived pain like the pain of having to fix up a house before you can list it with a realtor you can say hey i buy houses any condition and that eliminates that pain and replaces it with the pleasure of speed and convenience in three seconds that's where you set up the ad the image or you set up the video or the carousel like i said so basically that's where you specify the offer visual creative that's what they see first that's what's going to determine if they will click over to your website or click over to fill out your form or pick up the phone and call your number right but again our message is really simple in investing we buy houses any condition 
fast closing close in 10 to 15 days no azus we handle everything we handle all the paperwork that's our message right so really majority of your work comes in in identifying I already told you the first four steps where you identify your audience understanding that you have two types of audience if you're a wholesaler okay if you're a wholesaler you have two types of audience you have motivated sellers you have cash buyers if you're the investor you only need to find people that are looking to sell motivated sellers and you can set this all up and you'll be running all on its own so those are the three steps campaign ad set ad campaign that's where you say what is this about what am I trying to achieve ad set who do I need to see this ad what is it that they see all right so so that's it with this training right here if you want more of this and you want to take advantage of this simply go to smart real estate wholesaling .com, smart real estate wholesaling .com. if you're an investor you need this you can find your own deals you don't have to depend on wholesalers okay if you're a wholesaler even better you're gonna be able to use the skills to build cash buyers list because majority of investors are not gonna listen to what I just said they would rather just not worry about marketing if you can find them deals they're happy they're happy to just get those deals from you and pay you 10 20 30 thousand dollars just for finding those deals for them okay so just come on inside when you go to smart real estate wholesaling.com you're gonna get two books absolutely for free smart real estate wholesaling of course which you, you need to read over and over again and then real estate money secrets my newest book you're gonna get that as well for free and i'll take you inside so you can look over my shoulder you have the opportunity to be able to look over my shoulder and learn how to set up everything i covered all right we're not going to talk as much you just click 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 you'll be able to set up everything i've just covered in the past uh few minutes okay i'll see you on the next one have a good one peace